Let's talk about why people come in and out of your life. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothing.com. I am Fug It. And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Guys, I want to talk to you today about why people come in and out of your life. Okay, years ago, I had a really good friend who was getting married and she wanted me to give her away at the altar and uh, she didn't want her father to do it. She wanted me to give away the beautiful bride. So I was flattered by that and I took her up on that offer. So, you know, at the ceremony after the wedding, the father of the bride, father of the bride elect, it's about as official as the other elect, but I won't get into that because I don't want to lose half my subs. So, you've got the father of the bride elect, me, giving a nice little speech. You know, and I thought about it, and I wrote this the night before. And I said, what am I gonna say? And I thought about it because I'd met a lot of people at this wedding uh, from the groom's side, really nice people. Uh, some of, of the bride's friends. There were some crazy adventures. There was a, a stampede that we avoided near death on this island. It sounds made up and it's true, but you know, whatever. I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything, but it was a crazy time. And so it was a, a really a, a fascinating little trip. And I said, okay, how am I gonna capture what like this last few days have meant and also kind of give, you know, some heartfelt um, words to this newly married couple. So I thought about it and about all the people that were there that had gathered. And I said this, I said, people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And so I discussed how you know, when people come in and out of your life and it seems like, you know, there's a part of us that wants everything to be the same. You know, we like security. We like, you know, normalcy. There's a sense of safety in that, right? And that's not how life works though. You know, people are going to move, they're gonna die, they're going to, you know, you're gonna have uh, falling outs with them. Maybe it's a business relationship and the piece of business you did with them is over. It could be anything. And some people get hurt by that. You know, they want those people in their life. That's like, if you're trying to grow in your life and improve yourself and you're growing and changing or something really good happens to you and it changes maybe your, you know, your job title or it changes, you go from, you know, struggling to make ends meet and now you're a millionaire. You know, people don't know how to take that. If you are overweight and all of a sudden you lose all this weight and look great, people know you as the chubby guy or the whatever and they don't know how to take this new persona because it changes their circle, right? Their little world view of everything. In, in the slightest thing, it's being a little bit um, exaggerated, but it's true. So people come to your life for a reason. They were there for a reason. It served a purpose for you and them. You both gave something and you both took away something, um, both good and bad. And then you have situations where, you know, they're there for just that season. So the reasons, what are the lessons there? What did you learn? How did you grow? The reason, um, the season is, you know, things change, people change, circumstances change. And then there's the, those that are there for a lifetime. And usually they say, you know, you can count your best friends in the world on one hand. And, you know, you think about your social circle or your family, you know, or your spouse or your kids, you know, 
a lot of times your kids, it's that's the lifetime. Your spouse could be a lifetime if you're in love and you make things work. And there's a lot of other people that it's gonna fall into the reason or season category. And you gotta be okay with that. You know, you gotta be okay with your world, your social circle, you know, your daily norm is going to change because people have free will and true love only happens in when there's a free will, you know. Unconditional love means that you love somebody no matter what's going on or what they decide to do for themselves. And you've got to be okay with them making their own choices and not manipulating or putting conditions on the relationship, you know. There's times where somebody is like you're all and you're everything and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, everything changes and they've moved on and it's really heartbreaking, you know, where, you know, everything that was your norm, uh, habits, um, you know, places that you went, music you listened to, you know, weekly, daily traditions and schedules all get shaken up. And it takes time to heal from that, to reflect on that, and then to grow from that and be better. Instead of being bitter, which a lot of people are, and it's okay to be bitter short term, it happens. But long term, you wanna grow from it and you wanna be better than you were. And maybe there were mistakes you made, learn from those, move on and become a better person so that you can become a better partner, better friend, better employee, what have you. So just thought I'd touch on that, guys. One of those weird things that just popped in my head I wanted to share with you, and hopefully it helps on some level. Hopefully you got something out of that. So guys, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I always love the back and forth with people. If you want a shout out, I'll give you a shout out. You don't even have to send me money. It's all good. Take care. Bye.